Welcome to Let the Dead Speak. We're here at the North Carolina Room at the Burke County Public Library, which you're welcome to come by anytime. They have a vast array of reference books, so you can check out on the genealogy and all the historical as aspects of North Carolina, Burke County. Today we'll be looking at an individual, a Wilkesboro native, named Thomas Dula. And according to the North Carolina troops roster during the United States Civil War, Thomas C. Dula, musician, resided in Wilkes County, where he enlisted at age 17, April 24, 1862, for the war. Mustered in as private, promoted to musician, drummer, in January, February. He was captured and confined at Port Lookout, Maryland, in 1865, released at Point Lookout on June 11, 1865, some two months after the war had ended. They must have liked his fiddling and banjo picking, kept him around a couple extra months. After he took the oath of allegiance, this soldier is the famous Tom Dooley about whom the ballad entitled Hang Down Your Head Tom Dooley was written following his execution in 1866 for the murder of Laura Foster. Let me say once again, you are very much invited to come to the library, and you're very encouraged. And the curator of the North Carolina room here at Burke County Library is Linda Garibaldi, and she is a very able and informed young lady, and she'd be happy to help you out anytime you'd like to come by. Right now, let's take a trip to the Yatkin Valley and take a little closer look at this colorful character, Tom Dooley and look a little closer also at the legend of Tom Dooley. Come with us. Thank you. Tonight we're very fortunate to have with us on our program a very distinguished lady. She is the resident authority on Tom Dooley, his life and times. She's Mrs. Edith Carter. How you doing, Edith? I'm doing fine. That's great. Glad it's good to have you here. Have, yeah, good to be here. Thank you very much for your time. Well, uh, could you shed a little light on the Tom Dooley? You want to know the whole story, don't from you? Start, from start to finish. All right. This is the way I heard the story as I was growing up. Uh, Tom Dooley was a happy-go-lucky guy. He lived here in the Ferguson community. Well, actually, it was called Elkful at that time. And that was close to here. And Elkful is just up the road about three miles. From, from where we are now. Mm -hmm. But uh, Tom had, uh, actually, he lived in a couple of places. He did live up on what we call the Reedy's Branch. At one time, and then later, uh, he lived down on what we now call the Tom Dooley Road next to the Yankee River, and that's where he's buried. But anyway, he was happy, feel lucky fellow, and he loved to play the fiddle and the banjo, and he was just a delight to the ladies. All around musician. Oh, he was a good musician, and the girls loved him, and he loved the girls, and I think that's what was his downfall anyway. But anyway, uh, the war came along, and he was only 17 years old and he enlisted and went off to war. Uh, prior before uh, to going off to the war, though, he was in love with Ann Foster, and uh, she was in love with him. She was a beautiful woman, dark hair and eyes, and just a lovely person. And she was in her younger teens at the yes, time, mid-teens? she mid -teens. was in her teens, yes. Her teens. They were both in their teens. And so uh, she, uh, she hated to see him go off to war. And so many of the young men that went off to war were not coming back. Right. So many were getting killed. Anne decided she wouldn't wait for Tom. Whether she told him she would wait or not. She would wait, <laughs> but she didn't wait. So while, uh, while Tom was off war, uh, she, she got married. She married James Melton. And uh, so Tom was in the war for four years, and he was also taken to prisoner of war um, and taken to Point Lookout, Maryland toward the end of the war and was released from there. And uh, when he came home, uh, he resumed his relationship with Anne, even though she was married. Mary. Uh, and Anne loved her. But he was, as I say, a happy-go-lucky fellow and loved the ladies. And so he uh, started seeing a lot of other girls, too. And one of them was Laura Foster, who lived up in Caldwell County, about five or six miles from where we are right now. And Anne, uh, Laura was a very humble type person. 
she was pretty, but perhaps not quite as pretty as Amy. Right. And uh, she was a good girl, and she and her uh, parents uh, were very poor. They lived on um, another farm and uh, worked uh, for these.